Hi, welcome to Walker Amster. Today I'll be reviewing the DJ meter. So this is a project I backed on Kickstarter. And I backed it mainly because I want to know the amperage um, output from my USB charging devices. And it's on the back, it lost does some of the other capabilities, power output, amp output. I can monitor the voltage of the USB port. It can be optimized for Android or Apple. And you can also monitor the capacity also. It also offers two neat perks as well. The charge acceleration and data protection. So I'll go into more detail on that soon. Inside, inside, it came inside this uh, static shielding bag, and it also came with a manual too. It's actually, a pretty useful manual. Let's take a closer look at the Legion meter. Right on the front, we have the LCD display, user interface button. Here's the USB uh, that plugs into the USB adapters. Over here, we have AD. A is either for charge acceleration. D is so for that allows data to pass through. This is the other end, the USB where you plug your USB cable into this end. Nothing on this side. Down here, it lists the POX. I believe that's the manufacturer's name. It was assembled in Thailand. Let's see. Okay, for a Legion meter, it accepts 5 volt and has a max output of 3.7 amps. And the rest is just patent pending information. To help me with my test, I got an iPhone 6 Plus and also the iPad Air. I'm also using Apple's lightning cable, their lightning cable. And also, I got two AC adapters here. One is for the iPad, one is for the iPhone. Both made by Apple. First, I'm going to put in one that's for the iPhone device. And once I plug it in, the Legion meter, the LCD comes up. I see that it's at consuming 5 volts. I'm going to press user interface. Outputs about 1 amp, which is according to Apple spec. This is how much watts is consuming? 4.7, roughly around 4.7 to 4.8 watts. Then in the watt hours, and it's optimized for Apple. So I'm going to unplug this and plug in the one that's for the iPad. And on the other end, it's still plugged into the iPhone 6 Plus, and that's because I just want to show something here. So the amperage is about 1.5 to 1.6. It fluctuates. So the the iPad AC adapter. It's supposed to be at 2 amps, but the iPhone limits it. So if I were to unplug this line cable from the iPad, uh, the iPhone 6 Plus and plug it into the iPad, for example, now all of a sudden you see it jump up. It's about 2.4, which is according to Apple spec too. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. This device is relatively easy to use. The LCD is very clear. I like the user interface button. It's compact, portable. And it does exactly what it does. It says it'll do. It can measure the output from the USB. Now, let's talk about the con. So, the difference between the charge accelerator and the data, I haven't really seen that much of a boost. i probably seen perhaps like a, a 0.2 amp boost when I set it, set it to the A. But another con is, you see this switch, this little dimple? I can't just move it left to right with my finger. I always need something, whether it a clip or a pin to move it and either even so in that case it's not that easy because it's really, it's really recessed in there so I don't know why they, they did that it's kind of annoying too but overall I do think I, uh, I've made the right purchase I do need one of these devices and I would recommend it for their version 2 I just hope that the people who made this is watching this video if you can please make the switch easier to flip Alright, so thanks for watching this review of the Legion Meter on Okra Hamster. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.